So here's my spectrum. I'm mostly doing things to this that I'm hoping will preserve it for the future. I did a previous video where I replaced the power regulator and one comment that you often get on older machines like this is you need to recap them. Now I don't think it's quite as urgent as some people make out but I do think it's uh, worth getting around to eventually. So I ordered a recap kit after I found one. So this is from the Retro Revival shop. These are axial capacitors, so they should fit in quite nicely. Now I have seen some capacitor kits use the type where the two leads come out of the same end. They're a lot more common these days, such that makes them a lot cheaper, but they just don't fit as neatly into the boards. Reattaching this bit of plastic is a bit of a bugbear. Now I do want to try Solvent World one more time. I'm going to be spending a bit more time on the soldering and maybe that will make a difference. More time to set. If this doesn't work this time I will get the two-part epoxy out. I want to see if I can create a fun time lapse of this so I've put the tape down so I can bring the board back to the same location each time. One thing is clear is these are physically smaller than the originals. Kind of makes sense because they uh, get better with this stuff over time. Those are 100U. I assume they both are. Feeling like I should invest in one of those flashy solder suckers. What I'm trying to do here is make it so that the polarity symbols and the, the values are visible. Two down, ten to go. Twenty-two. There's a via here, but I accidentally emptied of solder. Let's refill that. Okay, the reset connector actually goes to the two sides of this cap. So that's this line. Actually comes very close down here. Now 
Now I'm wondering if we can do anything with a connector maybe to improve the serviceability here. I wonder if we can get away with that. The twenty two. Right, those are both twenty two. <clears throat> Okay, he's five now. There's a twenty two. So twenty two. And that's the four. I know if I don't say anything else, I'm going to get comments on here saying, why does my desolder braid work so much better than other people's experience? And the answer is, I just put a little dob of flux on it and I just massage it in a little bit. Always clean your tip before desoldering as well, because otherwise the desolder braid's just going to hoover that up. And you can see the solder just wick up there. Right, and there we have it. All the capacitors done. Having a quick visual inspection on the polarity on them all. Right, um, I'm going to assume this is okay. Since my last video with the Spectrum, I've got one of these, which is a composite capture device, which will be quite good because it will avoid me having uh, the extra monitor on the desk.
Okay, that's working. Now let's have a look at this solvent world. Okay, that all seems to be working. Here's another little tip for dealing with ret retro stuff. Rotate the screw anti-clockwise until it drops into its own groove and then turn it. Otherwise you're kind of um, going to slowly erode the thread. Okay, so that may be the last time in a while we actually open this thing up. I have been meaning to buy an ultrasonic cleaner at some point, so that would be worth kind of taking the board out and giving it a good clean just to get rid of all the flux residue and stuff. But uh, apart from that, we've done the main things necessary to preserve this for a good long time. Excellent. The next video involving the Spectrum will be exploring the lines in the expansion port. We're going to kind of look at all the way the memory read, write and IO signals work and then start looking at maybe doing some interfacing to it. All right, hope you found it interesting. See you again soon.